Hey there guys, welcome to the channel, I am Parky P and today we are carrying on our playthrough of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Now, in the last episode, we were not here. We were uh, in the Unsunken Valley, I think that's what it's called. And in the distance we could see a great ape, or something along those lines. Now I said in this episode we were going to fight him, and we are. There's just somewhere I want to first, because I've do, been doing a little, little bit of reading. And apparently there is an item back in the, or near the well, where we first started the game. So we're going to make our way back to there now. And I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so we are back at the exit of the first area of the game. Uh, and there is a person standing there. Can't lock onto him. Hello. Uh, uh, yes? It truly stirs my soul. Beautiful, and yet somehow sad. As if it yearns and There's nothing down there, mate. for someone. Hey. Who are you calling for? Let me hear it one more time. Hey, you. What? <coughs> oh, my name is Jinzaimon Kumano. My duty Hello, is to Jinzaimon. patrol the moat. Hmm. I've not seen you around before. Which clan are you? I can't I'm the wolf say. clan. You cannot say, you say. Hmm. So you are a shinobi, then? I am a shinobi. I cannot say. Your manners could use some work. No matter. Oh, it's not my fault. A shinobi, I can't remember. I won't press any further. Sue me. And I believe down here is another prosthetic tool. I think. I'm not sure. I know there's a fight. It's him. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. And land a death blow. Can I talk to him? I can talk to him. <laughs> he, he said, said I find a cowardly wolf, wolf here. Wolf here. No sign of him, though. A broken and incompetent shinobi living in disgrace. That was me. I hope to see such a man for myself. But seems I'm out of luck. And if he truly cannot die, I'm sure I'll run into him at some point. Oh, so I can't land a death... Ah! Oh my. Okay. I didn't actually know that's the block that I had to do. Okay, so his kick... I can actually block. Oh god. Let me get an eye on him. Thank you. He's very tricksy. He likes using his feet a lot, doesn't he? Get another heal going. Lovely. Crap. No, I died. That's okay though, we've got a resurrection. Okay, and there's our first death blow. Right, I want to get a heal nice and quick. Christ. Oh my, I can't see what he's doing. Yes. Landing lovely hits. Damn it. I realised too late though that he was doing his little grab. 
Okay, so when he goes to have his unblockable kick is when I need to uh that was lucky I couldn't see what was going on. I can't see what's happening. Ah. Yes. Come on. There we go. Defeated. Sorry, young sir. Scrap magnetite. And a prairie. Oh, lovely. And any items? No. But a small amount of gold, which we will take. I was surprised, actually, we defeated him first time. We did die. But the world's flooded. But we still managed to press on. Almost the abandoned dungeon. Um... I'm not sure I want to be down here. Uh, I definitely don't want to be down here. What is that? Let me just see if I can... Oh, it's just lizards. Okay. I thought like, it'd be something really deadly then. Uh... I do not like the look of that. And in fact, I'm going to get the Homeward Idol ready. Because I'm going to run to that bonfire that I can see in the top left of the screen. Oh, bulging coin purse. Very nice. Hello. And where is this location? The bottomless hole. And there's someone to talk to. Hello there. Oh, oh, it's faint, but yes, I can hear it. Hello. As if it is calling out for someone, crying. Perhaps it is calling to me. Is this the music again? Every now and then. It must be. Yes, I can hear it. Give me a sign. Is it me you're calling to? What's wrong? Huh? Oh, huh. If it isn't the shinobi, following the sound brought me here. Can you hear it? It's faint, carried by the wind. It's coming from this hole. You hear it, do you not? I, I do not. not. I see. Perhaps I alone can hear it. Oh, nothing else matters. I must follow that melody. That melody calls to me. At least, I believe it does. It does not call to me, though. Um, I'm sure I saw a little boss icon there. Yeah, so he's someone I'm going to have to fight at some point, and I do not want to fight him now. No way. So, we are going to, instead, attempt to fight this ape. Okay, so we are back in this beautiful sunken valley. It is genuinely a lovely setting. But now we are going to fight this great ape. Or at least attempt it. I don't really know what to expect in this fight. Uh, I don't even know if it's called a great ape. I'm just calling him that myself. Uh, but yeah, I'm anticipating at least 5 to 10 deaths. And that's not including resurrections. That's separate, complete deaths. Ugh, right. Let's go. He is an animal, though, and we've learnt from other animals in the past. Um. Okay, he's only got one health bar, though. He's a guardian ape, not a great ape. Jesus Christ. Uh. Oh 
my god. Damn it. Okay, so. Oh my god. Give me a heal, please. When he does that scream, I thought he was going to do it then. When he does this scream, which he's not doing at all, I can land that. There we go. Oh my god, I've just realised how little health he's actually lost. Uh, did he just fart on them? What? Poison? Uh, I don't have anything to counter poison. That's... Oh my god. I'm really just not attacking him at all. I need to find moments where I can launch an attack. Oh my god, I've not even had a chance to use a firecracker yet. Oh my... Oh my god. This is a tough eye. What the hell? And I died. <sighs> oh my, this is going to be tricky. Very, very tricky. Yes, there we go. Stunning. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Okay, land a bunch of hits on him. Please, please, please. Oh, crap. Okay, give me a pellet. He's half health, half health. Oh my god, that's a new move. What the hell? Run, 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 run. Oh god. See, all these boss fights should make you feel like you've used a skill that you've been learning. This one doesn't. Come on, so close. No! I got out the... Has he killed me? He's killed me. Oh my. I can see how low his health is. I'm so tense to just keep trying to attack. That was lucky. Kind of. I can't see him now though. Come on man. Yes, come on, now's the time, surely. Yes, there we go. We've done it. We defeated the Guardian A. Yes. He's lost his head. Yeah. Come on, then. Come on, then. Look at you, you've got nothing on me. Um... What? What? Oh my god. Um, these are new. What am I supposed to do here? How on earth am I supposed to get close to him? It's actually land a hit. Oh, that's not it. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm genuinely confused as to how 
I'm going to land any hits on him. Okay, so we can land hits on him when he does that. Um, oh, so that's what he's doing. Run. Jesus, I, I have no idea if I'm doing this right or not, but I cannot take a hit. And my Kunai is clearly not doing anything, so I don't know why I'm still using it. Kunai Shuriken? Whatever. Come on, do your jump. Oh, I need to run closer to him for that. Well, there goes all the Kunai. Oh my. No, I was going to try to get close to him there, but I just can't. Ugh. Oh, I thought there was a little bird that just flew down there. I apologise for this potentially boring gameplay. But, when, when the tactics work, you're going to keep using them. One, two, three, four, and attack, run, screen. So this is definitely not the most entertaining video I'll have put out, but it is a way on how to defeat the Guardian Ape. So take that on board before anyone comments, oh, all you do doing anything around. Yes, that is true, but I am defeating the boss. This boss who is, well, I say unpredictable. He's pretty much got his moves on tap now. So probably two or three more of those and we should defeat him. Oh, don't run into him when he's screaming though. Two, three, four. <laughs> Yes, lovely. No, I'm too late. Oh, big hits. Come on. Come on, we've got this, we've got this. Smack him. No. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please, 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 please. One, two, three, four. Yes. 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 Oh. Oh. That's disgusting. Please say there's no more fight. Please. Achievement. That's it. Oh. We have absolutely scumbagged that. Memory, Guardian Ape. The battle memory of an extraordinary pharaoh lingering in the mind of the wolf. Communal the sculptor's idol and confront memories to, of battle to permanently increase power attack. Uh, Guardian Ape was defeated, though its roar can still be heard. It is said that an infested body marks the undying. Slender finger? Uh, the slender finger of a young woman. Weird. Can be fitted to make a prosthetic tool. Found in the belly of the Guardian Ape, it is partially digested. There is a shinobi technique called the finger whistle that can drive beasts wild. The one who used it before clearly used it for this purpose, as evidenced by the finger's open hole. That's disgusting. Right, let's rest up. Oh. Thank God for that. Thank God. 
I'm going to go back to the dilapidated sample, get that uh, prosthetic tool fitted, and then we're going to carry on with the playthrough. Okay, so in a little bit of downtime, I have just grinded out a couple of uh, coins, coins, sen is what I believe it's called, and bought myself a prayer bead from one of the memorial mobs. So we now have a little, a little bit more health, as you may notice in the corner. And yeah, we've just rested up. We've not gone into the cave yet after defeating the guardian ape. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna venture onwards. I don't know what else is to go on in here. Uh, oh, okay. This is nice. Nice little flower. Uh, Lotus of the Palace. A white lotus flower found blooming in the depths of the sunken valley, where the fountainhead waters pool deeply. The flower's aroma attracts female apes. Thus, the guardian ape carefully tended to it, so as to offer it to his bride. One of the incense ingredients sought by the divine heir for immortal severance. Oh, I thought there was more to it than just going in here. Oh. Um. Never mind then. Let's go back to Mr. Kuro. Lord Kuro. Oh, Lord Kuro. Hello, Lady Emma. I'm glad you've come. You got anything Master else? It looks like your brow is no. I don't have any gold teeth either, but I have a drink, and so far I've gave everyone else a drink. I've gave, I've given. Uh, so we're gonna get Emma crunked. There you go, oh, some monkey boots. Oh, this is <laughs> this is monkey boots. Something yes. wrong? Well, let me try it. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's a bit strong. It, it burns so bad. Let's see. Yes, monkeys. I seem to have a strong connection with monkeys. She's wasted. Yes, I was rescued by a monkey after all. She, what? Look at her. You Little don't algae. believe me, do you? When I was young, I stood alone in the aftermath. A battlefield. Go on, Emma. I was alone and staring, dumbfounded. Get some shots. I could do nothing, neither cry nor even get angry. Complete shock. And then there was a monkey eating a rice ball. A monkey? Maybe, Maybe an, an ape. ape? Maybe. Either way, he made it look so delicious. I remember being angry at that. You were angry at a monkey because he had a rice ball. The rice ball. It tasted so good. What a kind monkey. <laughs> very kind monkey. Yes. He was a very kind monkey. Ah, oh, go on, Emma. I've also just noticed this. Which means there's a little secret passage way. Wait a second. Is this the dilapidated temple? Uh, as if. No way that's the case. Can I travel back through it then? I can now. Well, that's very quick. There is no way that's supposed to link. You know what, I'm going to prove it myself. I'm going to prove that that cannot be possible. So, if we follow this around, so as you can see through the window very slightly, the door is roughly around this corner. It is about here. So there is no way at all that should be possible. But anyway, enough about disproving magical travel doors. Let's see what Mr. Kuro himself has to say about our little flower. Kuro. Hello, My master. Lord, I've procured the flower for the fountainhead aroma. Oh? Was it truly blooming in the sunken valley? Yes. Deep within the valley. So that is where the fountainhead waters pool deeply. You've done well to acquire this wool. Oh, 
And actually, I found something. Oh. I discovered there's another scent we must acquire. Oh. What is it? The blood of the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. In other words, uh, my blood. Your blood, but my lord, you cannot bleed. So yes. we've got a court. It is true that the dragon's heritage cannot bleed. However, okay. in Lord Genichiro's blood, okay, okay. I found a curious journal belonging to Lord Takeru's page. And it appears there is a way for me to bleed. For now, I'd like to ask you to keep this for me. Page diary. Uh, Lord Takeru held his arm over the incense burner and attempted to cut it with a sword. But incredibly, his wound healed instantly and not a drop of blood was shed. Lady Tamu said, Without it, your blood cannot be spilled. What could she be referring to, I wonder? Now then. We just need to figure out how to make me bleed. Perhaps we should ask Lee. Hmm. Yes, yes, she may have some knowledge. But we've actually already spoken to her. We need a magical blade. That's not the name for it. I can't remember what the name is. Uh, and that is found in the abandoned dungeon. So that is where we shall go in the next episode. But that has been it for today's episode. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like on it. We've managed to defeat that uh, ninja man at the well. And we have defeated the guardian ape and procured the lotus flower for Lord Kuro. But I've been Pargy P. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on it. Comment what you have enjoyed, but also what you haven't enjoyed. But most importantly, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more Sekiro Shadows Die Twice and more content from me. Once again, I have been Pargy P. And I shall see you all next time.